The Miami Heat will soon be tipping off against the Houston Rockets. Mike Breen is joined by Jeff Van Gundy for today's call. Welcome to the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's Monday Night Basketball here on ESPN as we get set for the Rockets looking for their 41st win of the season against the Miami Heat. Hello again, everyone, along with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand, calling the action tonight. And here are tonight's starting lineups. As this one gets underway, Jeff, who might they need to be careful with against Miami tonight? You cannot be overwhelmed by Chris Bosh and allow him to get 20 plus points. You absolutely have to bring a greater intensity to the game and try to be physical without fouling. Bosh, face up game, dynamic. 17 footer off the jab step, hard to deal with. Rocket first step to his left hand. So you have to try to influence him right, make him shoot it over the top, but do not foul Chris Bosh. Right there and it won't go. To James. To Chalmers. Nice inside pass. Puts it up. Harden the rebound. James Harden with the ball in possession. Looks to put it back up again. And James Harden with a nice look. Sinks it. Wait. Hard enough to repeat. Miami showed how difficult it was, yet they did. Now they're going for three in a row. They're not a team when you're led by LeBron James that can get complacent. Well, this is going to be really difficult for them to this one time. Well, it's such a mental challenge. It, subconsciously, you are satisfied because so few teams have ever won two in a row. You have to have a unique competitive spirit to want to have to re-energize and recreate all of the work it's going to take just to get back to that position. And so it'll be interesting to, for me to see if they can do that, if they can sustain their competitive spirit. Now, Greg Oden coming in, how much can he help them? Uh, does that energize them where they can uh, play bigger a little bit more? Can the older players uh, like Shane Battier who's had some up and down regular seasons, but has found a way to shine in the postseason. Can they do it once again? Where is Dwayne Wade's help? All these questions, you know, do the, are they gonna miss Mike Miller? They have a lot of questions that need to be answered, but they have the best player in the game, they have a great coach, and they have great management. And it'll be interesting for me to see if they can fight off the better teams in the Eastern Conference that have improved, and then certainly what's out there in the Western Conference lurking to meet them in the finals. Chalmers looking to dupe the defense, draws the double team. Battier. James not able to hit from beyond the line. Under pressure, and he's fouled. Knocks down the first one. Second one off the mark. He goes one for two. Great pass. Right back to Chalmers. He's got the room, now fires. This is his first shot. Howard. Has to adjust, nicely done. Gets it to drop. That's just a nice layup right there. Chalmers with it, taking it up to Wade. 
Coming off the screen, he shoots. No doubt about it, whistle blows a foul called against the Rockets. Their first team foul. First free throw, perfect. And gets both points from the line. Goes to the goal, can't get the layup to fall. Hey, that's great defense right there. Good contest, good finish of their defense. It's out of bounds, it'll be heat ball. We have both teams with substitutions here. To Wade, whistle blows, that's backcourt. Shut down, forced to make the pass. James. Battier. Tied up and has to pass. Harden the rebound. Houston coming across. Tries the lob. Oh, gorgeous alley oop feed. Steel. Throws the alley oop and they turn it over. Forced to make the pass. Douglas' the shot swatted away. He shoots off the mark. It's all about making your teammates better. And the way you make them better is to give up a good shot to try to create a great shot. Tied up, has to make that pass. Flips it up, won't go. A lot of people can get the ball to the rim. Very few people can finish at the Chance for a three-point play. Count the basket, and the foul, a block called against James. That's great body control right there. Finishes the shot, and now goes to the free throw line. And he misses that one free throw. Dwayne Wade with the ball in control. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. James fires away off balance. Give me good offense over good defense any day of the week. Well defended possession, but better offense. Alrighty, here's a chance to see that one again. That's a 13 to four run for the Rockets. Douglas against Lynn. To Wade. To Douglas. Off balance, he fires for three. Lynn. Harden. Shut down, forced to make the pass. Lynn from outside, a three-pointer. Misses it, and the lead still in single figures. Puts it in for two. I want to see that replay again. Here we go. You got to get your guys down the floor in transition quicker than they can get back. If you can rebound it and then get it up the floor, you're going to have numbers to exploit the basket opportunities. Attack the rim. Don't settle for jumpers. Finish strong. Shoots the three. Bang! From downtown. That's a nice catch and shoot jump shot. To Battier. They double him. Pretty pass. In the paint. Shot blocked by Howard. Nice left hander. And he draws the foul. Tony Douglas picks up his first foul of the night. 
And he'll head to the line again and shoot two. And he hits the first free throw. Goes two for two at the line. James puts it through. And here's another look at it. the pass slams it home I definitely want to see that one again let's have another look the ball travels straight out of bounds let's it go so the first quarter comes to an end the Rockets up by 12. Stay tuned for more Monday Night NBA presented by ESPN after this short break.